Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness, O oh God. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. We'll give you praise. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to your name. Le koto breti stilara bedes tulara sat. Ze pro doloro postalara set ze fretina stile risetos. Ze krebele rivi tishtoloro bosat. Jesus, we worship you. Le brodo roboto son to no roboto. Zima kele rebe de stele rebe de sin to no robosha. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. We are grateful, Jesus. We do not take it for granted that you are with us, that you are on our side. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The giver of all blessings, thank you. Giver of all grace, thank you. The giver of all favor, we thank you. We are grateful, Jesus. Blessed be your name. And the people of Jesus said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good morning. You're welcome to today's edition of Conform. Conform is our online devotion alley in which we see that the feet of Jesus giving him the opportunity to empower us so we can become more and more like him. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right, today we for this week and next week we'll go back to studying faith. Faith. Okay, faith is one thing that uh, we must not go too far from. Because faith is the. As oxygen is to life in this part of eternity, faith is to life in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Faith is to life. Bible says, Whosoever cometh to God must believe that He is. Whosoever comes to God must believe that God is and that He is a rewarder of them. That's the gentle second. So, uh, no, 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 nobody can um, really, really make Him part working with God without faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please God it's impossible to please Him not that it is difficult it is impossible He doesn't just walk with God where if there's no faith ingredient inside it if there's no ingredient of faith inside it He doesn't walk with God faithlessness does not fly at all in the kingdom of heaven and that's the difference between us and the unbelievers. We wonder why we we behave the way we behave. Why we are able to... <laughs> I mean, sometimes they really think we are weird. And it's because of faith. There are many things in the kingdom, if you think about it, that uh, we have never really seen. Many things we have never touched. But we just believe it. And that is what God wants it to be. And that's how he wants it to be. Uh, that's how he wants it to be, so that everything will be by faith. He said, He said, For he that cometh to God, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, must believe, not that may believe or should believe, must believe that he is. Hallelujah. Must believe that he is. 
we can't relate with God without faith. Must believe that He is. Must believe that He is. If you're, you're, you are in doubt that He is, that He exists, that He is alive, that He is living, that He is for us, then uh, the person has already begun to fail. Must believe that He is, that He, he, he is, God is, hallelujah, and that He is a rewarder of them that, them that diligently seek Him. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Woo. This is a very big statement, people. That's why we have to go back to faith every time. Because our faith must be in place. Without oxygen, it is impossible to live in this part of eternity. In the heaven part of eternity, without faith, it is impossible to live. It is impossible to live. Hallelujah. In First John chapter five verse four, for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and the, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Our faith is the victory. Our faith is the victory. So Bible says verse five, who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. The overcoming ingredient in us is our faith. The overcoming ingredient in us is our faith. Faith for you and I is non-negotiable. You must. We can't get tired of walking faith. We cannot get tired of operating in faith. We cannot get tired of believing. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's why it rules in the kingdom. You believe it first, and then you begin to behave it before you become it. You believe it, you begin to behave it, then before you become it. That's how it works. You can't get tired of it in any aspect of life. Whether you are doing it for yourself, you are doing it for the kingdom, or you are doing it in, your, in an intercessory capacity, it's the same thing. You believe it, you behave it, and then you begin to become it. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Faith is key. Faith is key. Because I don't know, somebody may be at the point now, yes, I'm tired of all this believing. He better not be tired. Don't be like a premature. You know premature babies? They are very difficult to, 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 to nurse. Nurses who work in the, in the, in the neonatal unit, in, in medicine we call it the neonatal unit. That place where they put that light. I'm forgetting the name now. The, the, that uh, light, incubator light, in the where they put incubators, where they put premature babies. If you do night there, any shift you do there, you can't sit down. Once you resume, you cannot sit down till you hand over. Because you have to be watching the child like this. You have to be watching. Because at some point, premature babies, they will just stop breathing. He's tired. He's tired of breathing. His lungs is not as developed. He has not fully developed. So his lungs, after some time, gets tired of moving. So he will just hang. If the nuts were not looking when that hanging happened, before he turns his back, the baby would have become blue. And before he does, says Jack Robinson, the baby may die. So it's very hectic nursing premature baby babies because because they get tired of breathing now bring it to what we are saying we said faith for us is like our breathing as breathing is in the kingdom of men faith is in the kingdom of god anybody who gets tired of faith has gotten tired of living anybody who gets tired of walking faith Pushing faith, trading in faith, operating faith has become tired of living victoriously. You can't excel in the kingdom without faith. Hallelujah. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth? You and I cannot excel in the kingdom 
without faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bible says, verse 2, Hebrews 11, For by it the elders obtained good reports. By faith the elders obtained good reports. By faith. The elders obtained good reports. By faith. By faith they obtained a good report. By faith. By faith the elders obtained a good report. Hallelujah. If you want a good report in the kingdom, you must operate faith. Glory to Jesus. Look at verse 3. He said, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do not appear. So the things which are seen were made out of the intangible by faith. The things which are seen were made out of that which was not seen through the instrumentality of faith. Even God couldn't do or can't do anything except by faith. Are you still here? Even God cannot do anything except by faith. Hallelujah. Faith is key in our walk with God. Verse 4, by faith Abel offered unto God. Okay. And that's why he's, he's, he's offering himself. Some people have said it's because uh, he, he gave uh, something that had blood. Uh, and uh, um, and um, Cain did not give something that had blood. That's not true. Look at it here. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. It was because it was by faith. The other, other one was not by faith, it was by fear. Glory to God. I said, Glory to God. It was by copying. It was by copying. This one was by faith, it was inspired by faith. I want to do something for my God. This is what made the difference. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Oof, Kabbalah Rabu I prophesy over somebody. You won't see death. In the name of Jesus, whatever is looming over this country, in the name of Jesus, we punch it. By faith, we punch it. By faith, we punch it. By faith, we punch it. We punch it. Whatever it is that they think they have cooked to feed the people of Jesus with, the people of this nation with, Rakovre Deleri Didibede Shatter, will declare they will be fed with their own bloods. They will be fed with the bloods of their children. They will be fed with their own flesh. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 7. By faith, Noah being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. So obeying God is by faith. Obeying God is by faith. Obeying God is by faith. Non-obedience to God is a result of faithlessness. Lack of in, uh, disobedience, that's what it's called, is a product of faithlessness. Disobedience is a product of faithlessness. Disobedience. It's a product of faithlessness. It's a product of faithlessness. If you look at it very well, the person is finding it difficult to believe because they don't think that something good will come out of it. That's why. You know, the Bible says all, all good and perfect gift comes from above. God never gives... Bible says no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So God never gives bad things. So whatever he asks us to do is because he wants to... He wants it to end up with good. However, when somebody can't see the good in what God is asking him to do, that's when he struggles with obedience. Disobedience is 
strictly a manifestation of lack of faith. Disobedience is strictly a manifestation of lack of faith. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory. So you can see how that whichever way we look at it, you and I need faith. We need vibrant faith. We need for our faith to be dynamic. We need for it to be pulsating. We need for it to be tangible. Glory to Jesus. We need for it to be alive and living and pulsating and active. Praise God. We must be active faithers. We must be we must be very deep, very active in trading faith. We must be very active in trading faith. Praise God. So, by faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his own house, by which the condemned world, and by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness. By faith, verse 8, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should not, he should after receive an inheritance, obeyed. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out, obeyed. He obeyed. He obeyed. He obeyed obeyed by faith. And he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. This week, these two weeks as we discuss faith, I'm believing God that God will breathe upon our faith afresh. I believe God that He will breathe upon our faith life afresh. He will breathe fresh faith into Headstone Church. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lacro bolo roboto set. Zeme le leve de bosta le roboto sata. Zebre tele reboto sete le rebosta. Le vre tele reve de sento no roboto sta roboto sata. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise. So it's a land of promise, oh, but you have to sojourn there by faith. That God that said it does not mean you can get it without faith. Yes. That God has said it does not mean it will come to pass despite your faith. Especially when it has to do with only you. If it has to do with God's program for for kingdom wide, that's different. But when it has to do with your life, let God say it from here to Jerusalem. If you don't contribute your faith, it can be downloaded. It will hang are you still here? That's why you must be faith active. Let's go back to confession. Let's go back to behaving what we believe. Let's go back to let, let's reassess our believing. What is your faith? What 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 are you believing God for? What 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 what's your faith? In which direction is your faith going? How active is your faith? How alive is your faith? Let's go back there. You need this thing. The Bible says faith is the victory. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth. He that believeth. He that believeth. He that believeth. Let's send faith on errand this season. Let's unleash our faith. Let's send our faith on errand. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I said, this is what distinguishes you between the unbiblical period. Remember, we are called into the Christian faith. We are called into the Christian faith. This is, so it, by grace, you are saved through faith. That not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Let any man should boast. 
by grace you are saved through faith. Even your salvation couldn't happen without faith. So the working out of your salvation cannot happen without faith. Your salvation could not happen without faith. So the working out of your salvation, if it must happen, it must happen by faith. Glory to Jesus. My time is up. Listen, you are blessed. This is the best week you have ever lived. It's a week of signs, a week of wonder, it's a week of miracles, it's a week of greatness and promotion for you. It's a week of favors and open doors. In the name of Jesus, I see God bring platforms, new platforms your way. In the name of Jesus. Listen, calamity and pestilence is far from us. Violence shall no more be had in our borders. Neither wastage or destruction. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy the en- God will outwit the enemy, sir, in this nation. God will outwit the enemy. He will bat them with their own blood. He will bat them. We can't run away. Where are we all going to run to? We can't run away. God, they will feast on their own flesh, sir. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Forget it. How many faith people? What was, how strong was the faith movement in 1969? Nigeria is no longer the same, oh. This is a faith-filled country, people of Jesus. Nobody can mess us up anyhow. You will see I said it. Yeah. Suddenly it will turn around and it will consume them. What they have created, the caricature, the kangaroo they have created, suddenly it will turn around and it will consume them, consume their families, and they will be put to shame forever. Go and enjoy yourself. God bless you. Have a wonderful